welcome back to my channel. It has been quite some time since I've sat in front of this camera, but it is officially summer and I would be remiss if I did not share my third annual Hot Girl Summer reading list. Um, and that's what has brought me out of, <laughs> out of my self, um, self-inflicted kind of, um, time away from you guys. Um, I hope everyone has been healthy and happy and reading. Um, y'all, I just got really exhausted. Like, what? Work just got really, really tiring. So I work in retail, so I stand up all day. Um, and by the time I get home, I just want to like lay on the day bed because I don't have a couch. I have a day bed. I just want to lay on the day bed. I want a glass of champagne. Y'all know this is my champagne year. I just want to lay on the bed, on the day bed and like just kick it. This sun is crazy, but do you get into the skin? Okay. My eyes look really tired, but I'm glossed up like a glazed donut. Maybe I need to sit this. Let's see. Let's see if I like it over here a little bit better. Nope. Okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with this because I chose to do my morning routine right before I started filming. Okay. Oh, this is better. Okay. So, so yes, I'm really super tired and I'm just like reading and like existing and like doing the things. So I have seen all of your messages and if you are still rocking with me, thank you. Um, I appreciate you guys more than, you know, you will ever, ever know. Um, yeah, there have been other like updates in my life. Like I recently got into grad school, so I'm trying to like figure out, am I going to continue working or, you know, so it is just like, oh, like a lot of life changes happening all at once. Um, and I, your girl has just been like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> But I have been reading some amazing things and I will be doing a May and June combined wrap up. But this, this video is special to me because it is one of my favorite videos to drop every year. It is the Hot Girl Summer Reading List. And this year I am partnering with my friends over at Curls in the Hood. Um, and we will be doing a Hot Girl Summer Reading Challenge where if you read the four books that we've defined as the reads of the summer and then send um a prompted write-up about what you read you will get an amazing and fabulous gift from the editor-in-chief over at curls in the hood and i just want you to know that i want the gift so if you're gonna do the competition or if you're gonna participate in the reading challenge just know we can share the gift or not i mean maybe okay let's get into the books let's get into the books if you have been here before, you know that the Hot Girl Summer Reading List is broken up in your head, your heart, your soul, and your coochie. That is just what we do here on the Brooklyn Book Bell channel. Because we are multifaceted and we are not monoliths and we understand that all parts of us have to be fed, if you get what I'm saying. So we will start with the head and the first book on this year's Hot Girl Summer Reading List is Thick by Tressie Mill McMillan Cotton. And this is, um, it won awards on so many different uh, reading lists and it came out in 2019. And yeah, so I will say, I feel like I had this book. Maybe I didn't. Why do I feel like I already had this book? Okay, so this book was a nominee for the Best Nonfiction Good Choice Award. I mean, yeah, Goodreads Choice Awards back in 2019 when it came out. And this book is described as smart, humorous, and strikingly original thoughts on race, beauty, money, and more by one of today's most intrepid public intellectuals, Tressie McMillan Cotton, the writer, professor, and acclaimed author of Lower Ed, now brilliantly shifts gears from running regression analysis on college data to unleashing another identity, a purveyor of wit, wisdom, and of course, Black Twitter snark about all that is right and much that is so very wrong about this thing we call society in the best-selling tradition of Bill Hooks and Roxane Gay. Macmillan Cotton, Cotton's freshman collection illuminates a particular trait of her tribe being thick in form and in substance. And it has taken me a long time to grow to love a good collection of essays. Um, but I will say that um, the friend that said I needed to read this I trust her, you know what I'm saying? And so if she says read something, um, I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna do it. And so that is the first book in the head part of the Hot Girl Summer reading list. And let's go ahead and get into book number two. And I will also be reading Rock My Soul, Black People and Self-Esteem by Bell Hooks. I don't know how I feel about Bill Hooks. Um, from the late feminist icon and New York Times bestselling author of All About Love, an in-depth look at one of the most critical issues facing African, a collective wounded self-esteem that has prevailed from slavery to present day. Each, um, yeah, so why do so many African Americans, whether privileged or poor, urban or suburban, young or old, live in a state of chronic anxiety, fear, and shame? Rock my black people and self-esteem breaks through collective denial and dares to tell this truth that crippling low self-esteem has reached epidemic proportions in our lives and in our diverse communities. With visionary insight, Hooks exposes the underlying reality that it has been difficult, if not impossible, uh, for our nation to create a culture that promotes and sustains healthy self-esteem. Without self-esteem, people begin to lose their sense of agency, they feel powerless, and they feel they can only be victims. The need for self-esteem never goes away, but it is never too late for any of us to acquire the healthy self-esteem that is needed for fulfilling life. Now, I don't know when this book was written. Let me see. Um, because sometimes when I read bell hooks i have to be like when was this written because some of the, her writings i mean yeah some of her writings i'll be like hmm okay this one doesn't say but i am i already have the physical copy of this book and i am really looking forward to it um you know we all have to guard ourselves going into november 2024 uh that's just how i feel and i'm honest on this page so here we are um okay uh, the next book that I will be reading is Black Women Will Save the World by April Ryan. And the title alone is what prompted me to buy it. I bought it um, on a trip down to DC. I was at um, Mahogany Books and the cover is so pretty. I have her over here. Let's see. show how pretty is she <gasps> yeah she's pretty okay from the inception of the nation to the present day black women have transformed their plan in, or their pain into progress and have been at the forefront lines of america's political social and economic struggles these sheroes as april ryan calls them include current political leaders such as maxine waters valerie jarrett and kamala harris as well as latosha brown and activists combining profiles and in-depth interviews with influential movers and shakers april ryan explores and challenges black women indoors endure and shares the lesson they've learned she also chronic she also chronicles her powerful personal journey from working class baltimore to elite echelons of washington dc and speaks about the hurdles she faced in becoming one of the most well-connected members of white house press court while raising two daughters as a single mother mother in the aftermath of divorce so she is a beauty and then I think this is, well, this is April Ryan on the back here. Um, you know, I'm interested in the perspective. I, I will say that. I think often um, I have to kind of take myself out of, <laughs> out of um, the narrative and be like, what is this person trying to um, get me to... Um, to understand or to believe by the end of this and we're gonna see we're gonna see guys i don't know i don't know because some of the people that she included i'm like okay so we'll see i'm actually really excited to read it it's a short review it's only 175 so i'll come back and let you all know how this goes y'all i look wild oh my god am i awake like am i okay the next book, uh, we are moving into our heart portion of the list, and it is going to be Indigo by Beverly Jenkins. Now, here's T, okay? I've been reading Beverly Jenkins since I was a wee young girl. You know, like summers in Slidell, Louisiana were spent reading Beverly Jenkins books. So this book, um, is a special one in the pantheon of black historical romance literature and if you have not read it this is a great entry point into black historical romance fiction like get all the way in here okay i'm gonna read the synopsis as a child hester wyatt 
escaped slavery, but now the Dark Skin Beauty is, dedica is a dedicated member of Michigan's Underground Railroad, offering other runaways a chance at freedom she has learned to love. When one of her fellow conductors brings her an injured man to hide, Hester doesn't hesitate. Even after she is told about the price on his head, the man in question, the great conductor known as the Black Daniel, a vital member of the North underground railroad network but hester finds him so rude and arrogant she begins to question uh her vow to hide him when the injured and beaten galen vashon aka the black daniel awakens in hester's cellar he is unprepared for the feisty young conductor providing his care and as a member of one of the wealthiest free black families in new orleans galen has turned his back on the lavish living he is accustomed to in order to provide freedom to those enslaved in the south however as he heals he cannot turn his back on hester wyatt her innocence feels him like a breath of fresh air and he is determined to make her his but traitors have to be found slave catchers have to be routed and hester's refusal to trust her own heart have to be overcome before she and galen can find the freedom only love can bring <sighs> y'all it's so good it's i've already read it but i'm gonna read it again but and this is not okay i have a list of my favorite beverly jenkins books and i'm so excited that in august i get to go meet her for the first time at Steamy Lit Con in California. But Indigo is like that special entry point into her catalog. And so if I'm telling people like, oh, you wanna get into Beverly Jenkins, you wanna get into black, right? Historical romance, this is the book to start with. This is it, right? And then I'll give you my path um, through Miss Be Auntie Bev's catalog, but Indigo has all of our hearts. so make sure you start with indigo okay am i typing and pulling up books as i go yes i am you know why because i don't use goodreads anymore and so storygraph if you're listening i need to be able to make a little list i, I need to be able to make a little list okay um that's not my to read pile just saying random mm, let's get into it all right so the next book in our heart section is curvy girl summer by danielle allen i was gifted an arc copy of this book but i did not get around to reading it before it's publications day and now it is out in the world and everyone's reading it and i'm like oh shoot you need to read that Bridget Jones' Diary meets Survival of the Thickest in Danielle Allen's new curvy girl summer a smoking hot hilarious novel about the perils of online dating Aaliyah is determined to celebrate her 30th birthday with a boyfriend and after a failed blind date, the local bartender, Ahmad, <laughs> suggests that she joins a dating app filled with lies, catfish, fetishizing, and the wild world of online dating makes Aaliyah think she's in over her head. And she is, but with her two best friends and a protective bartender by her side, what could go wrong? Everything, everything could go wrong. <laughs> and that's the problem because as Aaliyah is set on finding exactly what she's looking for, she ends up finding something she never expects. <gasps> what if it's the bartender? Sorry. <laughs> I'm over here like, I need to read this today. That sounds so good. I love a little like, this is going to be another book where like people are like dating um, and they probably end up with... Um, one of their friends or something and i'm okay with that because i hope my, the love of my life is floating around me somewhere already i don't know <laughs> okay but curvy girl summer by danielle allen looks really good i think danielle allen is gonna be at steamy lit con too i'll keep y'all posted i'll let y'all know uh okay so the third book in the heart section of um hot girl summer reading list is Jaden, the king who got me the evans brothers book three by Miss Jenna Sequa. Now here's the thing. I will put a book that is in a series on a list like this because I have told y'all you needed to get into Miss Jenna Sequa. I've said that. So don't shoot the messenger, but we should all be caught up and be ready to read Jaden together because we've already read the first two. You get what I'm saying? And so uh, <laughs> this one uh, reads, a relationship is the last thing she wants right now for her business comes first and mixing business with pleasure is something she vowed to never do. In his mind, relationships are not just built for men like him. But when fate aligns his paths with hers, all the walls he's had built up around his heart come crashing down. Things between them only so are were only supposed to be professional, but what happens when they realize that keeping things strictly professional 
just isn't nearly enough. Listen, I love a little love in the office. You know what I'm saying? Like, who doesn't, who hasn't fought, fallen for a coworker before? You know, mix this little business with pleasure and get into this cover. Vitiligo representation. Oh, huh. mm, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. It's gonna, Miss Jenna Sequoia never, ever fails. So just get into it. Now would be a great time to go back and get into the catalog. I'm just saying. I'm just saying now would be a great time to go read one and two so that you can go ahead and read number three. And the next book in our Hot Girl Summer reading list, we're moving into the spirit portion of the list. And the first book is going to be Black Girl, You Are Atlas by Renee Watson. And this book was on my 2024 most anticipated reads list. So I'm really super excited to finally be getting around to it. And it reads as a thoughtful celebration of Black girlhood by award-winning author and poet Renee Watson in this semi autobiography biographical collection of poems renee watson writes about her experience growing up as a young black girl at the intersections of race class and gender using a variety of poetic forms from haiku to free verse watson shares uh recollections of her childhood in portland tender odes to the black women in her life and an urgent call for black girls to step into their power black girl you are atlas encourages young readers to embrace their future with a strong sense of sisterhood and celebration with a full with full color art by celebrated fine art Artist. I do not want to mess up the name, um, but the last name is Holmes. Throughout, this collection offers guidance and is a gift for anyone who reads it. I'm really looking forward to this. I want to make sure that, you know, the topics are appropriate before I start gifting it to my, my littles in my life. But the cover is beautiful. I love poetry. Um, and this it, it's reading kind of like a younger girl's version to Black Girl Call Home by Jasmine Manns, who I'm a huge fan of. So yeah, so I'm excited to read this one. Moving on, we are moving to Soul Talk, The New Spirituality of African American Women by Akasha Gloria Hall. And this is one of the books that is on the collab with Curls and Hoods. So I'm really excited to read this one as well. Um, but it is a celebration of the journey of African American women toward a new spirituality grounded in social awareness, Black American tradition, metaphysics, and heightened creativity. And this book features um, illuminating, illuminating insights from Alice Walker, Tony K. Bambara, Lucille Clifton, Dolores Kendrick, Sonia Sanchez, Michelle Gibbs, Geraldine McIntyre. Tosh, Masani Alexis, DeVoe, and Nehemiah Sopan by um, and from the last part of the 20th century through today, African American women have experienced a revival of spirituality and creative force, fashioning a uniquely African American way to connect with the divine. In Soul Talk, Akasha Gloria Hull examines the multifaceted spirituality that has both fostered personal healing and functioned as a formidable weapon against racism and social injustice. Um, as I kind of decolonize my own Christian beliefs and move further away from the classic or, um, well, yeah, the, the classic form of religion, um, because I don't believe in organized religion, but I believe in God and all of the things, right? These are my personal beliefs. Um, I love books like this because I feel like decolonizing, you're taking something away. And so reading something like this will add to my spiritual practice and continue rebuilding that, which I have kind of unlearned and been willing to walk away from. So I'm really looking forward to Soul Talk, the new spirituality of African-American women. Um, and the next, the last book in this section, uh, I'm not taking this out either because I be wanting y'all to see just how I be reaching for books in my house. <laughs> But the next book is We Could Have Been Friends, My Father and I, a Palestinian memoir by Raja Sh Shahadi. And I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Um, a subtle psychological portrait of the author's relationship with his father during the 20th century struggle for Palestinian human rights. 
Aziz was many things, lawyer, activist, and po political detainee. He was also the father of best-selling author and activist Raja. In this new and searingly personal memoir, Raja unpacks the snags and complexities of their relationship. A vocal and fearless opponent, Aziz resists under the British mandatory period and then under Jordan and finally under Israel. As a man, Raja fails to recognize his father's courage and in turn, his father does not appreciate Raja's own efforts in campaigning for Palestinian human rights. When Aziz is murdered in 1985, it changes Raja irrevocably. I can't talk today, y'all. I'm so sorry. This is not only the story of the battle against the various oppressors of the Palestinians, but also a moving portrait of a particular father and son relationship. And so this is, we could have been friends, my father and I. I'm sorry, the son is not being my friend. Normally she's my friend today, she's not my friend. But, and this one closes out the spirit section of um, the Hot Girl Summer Reading List. All right, everyone. This is our favorite portion of the Hot Girl Summer reading list. I'm going to get very serious, okay? We have now gotten to the coochie part of the list. Coochie, aka the moose knuckle, as prophetess Glory Hallelujah, aka Glorilla, has told y'all, okay? And I am super excited by the three books on this list. <laughs> I have already read two of them and the third one I'm reading this week. So I'll keep you guys updated. But the first book in this section of the list is gonna be The Offer by T. M. Richardson. And this is the second book in the Secret series. Now, I have read the first one and I have read the second one. And all I'm gonna say is, if you have not read um, The Oath by T. M. Richardson, are you really an erotic girly? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you really about that life if you have not picked up the Why Choose novel by T.M. Richardson? Stop, like go read it right now. Okay, before you have to read the offer because you have a few, you have quite some time before the offer comes out. The offer doesn't come out until July 30th. But here's what it says. One Faithful Night, Two Prince Charmings. Mm. <laughs> Alyssa hadn't had the best of luck. Her dream of expanding her salon into a franchise has stalled. Her dating life is non-existent. She spends her nights with wine, takeout, and thriller marathons. Oh my gosh, she sounds like me. Huh. Okay, sorry. And looking to spice up her life, she heads back to the one place she knows will satisfy her desires. Little does she know that one night of passion and a leaked photograph will upend her life in more ways than one. Chris, Chris. Christoph and Kadeem have been together for years, living and loving under the radar. Their relationship is solid, but they've always felt that someone was missing from their lives. When they think they've met the one at a private sex club, they are, in, they are intent on making her theirs permanently. The convincing her that one night will never be enough. They trying to convince her child. Could this be the beginning of a happily ever after or will their relationship ultimately crash and burn? Y'all, it was so good. I'm gonna do a whole review on it because yeah, I have to. But yeah, The Offer by T.M. Richardson. Okay, now <laughs> Demon's Dream. <laughs> Demon's Dream is the book that was given by the editor-in-chief at Curls in the Hood. And we love Demon's Dream over here at Brooklyn Book Bell. Like, we actually really love Demon and the whole shenanigree that comes with. But this is, she's a thickie. So if you're going to do the girl, Curls in the Hood um, reading challenge, start with this one. <laughs> Start with this one. So this is Demon's Dream by L. Kaysen and Demon Clawing My Way from the depths of hell to haunt the nightmares and steal the lives of many. I earned the name Demon. Hardened by a life that no one should live. I had rules that govern my existence. No caring, no intimacy, no love. Um, and then I saw her dream. Beautiful, brave, bold, and for 30 days she was mine. I would follow my have her body and ignore her heart then she looked at me like she knew me like she saw me like she loved me and i knew 30 days weren't nearly enough listen listen i normally stay away from 600 600 page books like i'd be like no there's no way i'm not reading that i don't have time for this right i stand for demon Jr. i recently met l Kaysen and i had to tell her to her face girl this was good this was good um 
and so the sex is sexy like the overall book it is an urban novel like i love this book to death so i'm totally happy that it has made the hot girl summer reading list and the last book last but certainly not least the girlies are going up they are going up for this book by in uh india carter and it is intrigued by danger um declan danger has always gone along to get along keeping his 20-year relationship afloat but his world flips upside down when his girlfriend insists on opening their relationship in the midst of spiraling he encounters the alluring mistress l and that's it india you didn't have to do us like that you could have gave us a little bit more but i know why you did it and i'm not even mad but i am mad excited to read this book um and it literally says genres bdsm so we know what we finna get we know what we finna get <laughs> and i am mad excited this list every year is so fun um summer is three months so we have mad time to read you have july august and september and september is the one year anniversary of Curls in the Hood, which I have been a contributing author or a contributing writer for for the last year. So I'm so excited. Okay, so multiple things, right? If you have made it to this far in the book, please drop a stack of books. You know what to do down below. And I will add this list to my Amazon storefront. So if you would like to support me, please buy one of these books from my Amazon storefront. But you guys, this book is, I mean, this video is really about making sure all of you are subscribed to Curls in the Hood, okay? It is a collective of amazing people who get together with an amazing editor-in-chief and it is, it is the moment, right? Like I, I can't even bring all of my words together because I'm like, it's the moment. So, if you are not subscribed to Curls in the Hood, the littest magazine here in Brooklyn, please make sure that you follow the link down below over to Curls in the Hood and become a monthly subscriber. You will see me as one of the contributing authors. So, go read that back catalog. There are a few articles that I know y'all will love. Um, okay, but y'all, we got I got the nerves out. We did the thing. I'm back. Mm, mm, I'm back and this feels so good and I know this video probably felt like it was all over the place but I had to get the kinks out Whew, what better way to do it and so yeah so thank you guys so much for lasting with me until this part of the video I love you guys so much I'm so happy to be rested and back I feel like summer is my season I feel like I come kind of out of my shell you know a little bit and so <laughs> thank you all so much and I can't wait to be back with you for the May and June wrap-up video but until next time you guys bye <laughs>